local shop makes adorable items for your pets so they can always look stylish. Yes, Mr. William Baldwin, not the only swoonable person. Molly <laughs> Real is in Sacramento checking it all out. Hi, Molly. Uh, we are on swoon alert here in Sacramento. <laughs> yes, so if you're just joining us this morning, earlier we introduced you to Swoon Studio, just the most swoon-worthy bandanas, bows, bow ties uh, for your four-legged family member. Uh, but Aaron, you are out with a new collection, your Valentine's Day collection, when we have some of the items here. Uh, so swoon worthy. Uh, something special about you is you love to use fabric made by local ish artists, right? Especially, tell us about this library card one. They're all independent artists. Okay. Yes, exactly. And this one is uh, Lello Bird. Her name is Jen, and she's from Oakland. And I, I found her work just because I had an interest in the library cards. I thought that was really special and so yeah. cute. She and you know, like actually, it. these uh, bandanas I can see people or dogs rather wearing year round, but just in case you always have another side so you have the stripes so they are a year-round fabric now we needed some dogs to model the bandanas right and in the spirit oh how cute the dots too uh, in the spirit of love Valentine's Day we thought we could uh, find some models who needed a little extra love yeah that's right we have some foster puppies looking for homes extra swoon worthy so we have Kelly here who do we have here this is Braylon this is Braylon and what nonprofit is she with road dogs rescue road dogs rescue okay and she is looking for a home she's nine months old so she's gonna be teeny tiny yes and very she, small she um tell us about her um she was surrendered to the rescue when she was a very little girl she actually was born with a fifth leg and extra parts okay. so road dogs has um, fundraised and found some amazing surgeons that could put her through um, some amazing life-changing surgeries to remove all those extra parts. And now she's happy, healthy, and looking for a home. Beautiful. And she sounds like she might need a lot of help, but she's pretty yes. low maintenance in terms of, I mean, Frenchies are a little high maintenance yes. in general. But uh, <laughs> And then really quickly, we have Gigi right there. We met Gigi a couple weeks ago, and she still hasn't found a home, and I need Gigi to find a home. Yes. Uh, Gigi has a cleft palate, uh, but other than that, she is just a regular just the most lovey, lovey dog. Uh, we love her so much. Uh, as we wrap things up, you guys, please adopt these dogs. Erin, uh, really quickly, 50%, uh, tell us about the 50% uh, you're yeah. donating back to shelters. Yeah, on my website, um, starting today through Valentine's Day, um, all proceeds from the Valentine's Day prints um, go to a local shelter, and we're gonna be voting on um, Instagram. Okay. And so if you want to follow, we're going to be voting for the shelter there. All right, you guys uh, follow her on Instagram. And uh, someone, please adopt these dogs. Email us, find their website on our website. Uh, <laughs> in the spirit of love, okay? Swoon alert. We'll send it back to you guys. So cute. Swoon alert times two. No. Mm. Oh. Thank you, Molly. Mm -hmm.